diets used to contain a lot more fiber. Okay, you might say fiber, you know what? What's that matter, right? So what fiber is, our human cells can't digest it, okay? So this is things like uh, the skin of an apple, okay? While we can't digest it, the healthy bacteria in our gut can. And it's basically food for them. So it's what's called a prebiotic. So prebiotic is food for probiotics or healthy bacteria. Does that make sense? All right. So you know, whenever we eat all these foods without the fiber in it, we're, we're essentially starving those healthy bacteria and actually feeding the bad bacteria. So our staple food sources are essentially grains nowadays. Before we get to that, I wanna, I'll give you a little bit more idea about fiber. So we, we have apples here in the office for patients. Okay, so a whole apple has a decent amount of fiber in it. Okay, you got fiber in the skin, in the pulp, and in the core. Compare that then to like applesauce and apple juice. So applesauce, we've removed all that fiber, we've removed the skin, we've removed the core. A lot less fiber in there. Take that one step more, remove all the fiber from it, and you're just left with apple juice. And you, will, you think about what are, what are most people consuming nowadays? The apple juice. So our staple food sources are grains, wheat, corn, rice. We've essentially, we've had, we have so much of these grains in our diet, 50% of the calories we eat come from these three plants. Not only that, but the majority of what we're eating is actually completely stripped of fiber. So as far as the wheat's concerned, we eat bleached white flour, extremely small amounts of fiber left in it. We, for corn, we eat high fructose corn syrup. We've literally distilled it down to just sugar. And then rice, we have white rice, which has only existed on planet Earth here in the past couple hundred years, where we have machines that'll actually rip that bran off of the rice, turning brown rice into white rice. 